Hello and welcome to Science Era. In this video, we will, we will be discussing stereochemistry. I will be using Organic Chemistry by G. Wade, 9th edition. So, what do you think is stereochemistry? It is a study of 3D structure of molecule. It involves the study of relative spatial arrangement of atoms that forms the structure of molecules and their manipulation. So, next we have isomers. Isomers can be divided into two groups, either constitutional isomers, also known as structural isomers, and stereoisomers. Another name for stereoisomer is spatial isomer. Spatial isomer is then divided into two further groups, diastereomers, which can be cis or trans isomer, or conformers or rotamers. Another type of stereoisomer is enantiomers. So, constitutional isomers differ in bonding sequence and atoms are connected differently. Configurational isomers have same bonding sequence but they differ in orientation of atoms in space. Enantiomers, pairs of compounds that are non superimposable mirror image of each other. And diastereomer, pair of compounds that are non superimposable and not mirror image of each other. Next, we have chirality. A, uh, a, atom can, a molecule can be chiral or achiral. Chiral, uh, chiral uh, molecules are non-superimposable and they are mirror image of each other. We say they are handed. If you put your left hand on your right hand, they do not, they are not uh, superimposable on each other. So they are chiral objects. A chiral is mirror images that are superimposable, not handed like flask. If you put one flask on another, they, the images are superimposable. A molecule that has a plane of symmetry is always a chiral. Cis and trans cyclic compounds. Cis 1,2 dichlorocyclohexane is achiral because the molecule has an internal plane of symmetry. Both structure above can be superimposed. This one. And the trans 1, dichlorocyclohexane does not have a plane of symmetry. So the images are non superimposable and they are, the molecule is chiral and these molecules are two enantiomers of each other. Next we see the difference between stereocenter and chiral center. A stereocenter is a point in which give rise to stereoisomers. Stereoisomer can have either single bond or double bond while chiral center in chiral center, carbon is attached to four different groups or atoms. Chiral center have only single bonds around it. Next, we look at R and S nomenclature. When, uh, when assigning R and S nomenclature, we follow different rules. First, we assign a priority number to each group attached to the chiral carbon. Remember, chiral carbon is a carbon which is bonded to four different groups or atoms. Priority is assigned according to the atomic number. Highest atomic number is assigned the highest priority, which is 1. And the lowest pri priority is 4. In the case of ties, look at the next atom along the chain. Double and triple bonds are treated like the bonds to a duplicate atom. Next is assigning priority. Here you can see 
a sample priority order so uh, bromine has higher uh, priority or higher atomic number than chlorine so bromine has higher pro priority than chlorine and then chlorine has higher priority than fluorine and then nitrogen carbon and then hydrogen once priority have been assigned the lowest priority group 4 should be moved to the back if necessary draw an arrow around uh, 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 draw an arrow from group 1 to group 2 to group 3 and back to the group 1 ignore group 4 clockwise rotation we say r nomenclature and counterclockwise rotation is s for example if you look at this example here we see that bromine has the highest priority and then chlorine 2 and then fluorine is 3 hydrogen has the lowest priority group this is the lowest priority group so this will move at the back so we only look at bromine chlorine and fluorine so the arrow will move from 1 to 2 and then 3 this is anti-clockwise or counterclockwise so we will say this is an S isomer same in the R isomer bromine is 1 chlorine is 2 fluorine uh, hydrogen is 4 and then fluorine is 3 so in this we have to move from 1 to 2 and then 3 from bromine to chlorine and then fluorine which is clockwise so this is R isomer assigning R and S nomenclature working in the 3d rotate the molecule so that the lowest priority group is in the back as we seen before draw an arrow from highest to lowest priority group so clockwise is r and counterclockwise is s next we look at the pri uh, properties of enantiomers enantiomers have same boiling point melting point density and refractive index they rotate the plane of polarized light in the same magnitude but in opposite direction Different interaction with uh, other chiral molecules include active site of enzyme is selective for a specific enantiomer. Taste buds and scent receptors are also chiral. Enantiomers may have different smells. Enantiomer rotate plane of polarized light, uh, uh, polarized light in the opposite direction but in the same magnitude uh, degree. Next we have specific rotation. Observed rotation depends on the length of cell and concentration as well as the strength of act optical activity, temperature and wavelength of light. In this formula, C is concentration which is gram per milliliter and length is the sample cell in decimeter. Resumic mixture. Resumic mixture includes uh, uh, contain equal quantities of D and L in enantiomer. It can be um, shown in these type uh, in these two types of notation, which is D dextro uh, dextro uh, rotatory or lever rotatory or plus or minus. There is no uh, optical activity in resumic mixture. The mixture may have different boiling point and melting point from enantiomers. If optical, uh, optically inactive reagents combine to form a chiral molecule, a racemic mixture is formed. Next we have optical purity. Optical purity is also known as enantiomer excess. If one enantiomer is pre present in the uh, greater amount, 
we will say that the amount of mixture which is in the large amount over the major enantiomer when pure times 100 so we'll get the optical purity chirality in conformers if the equilibrium exists between two chiral carbons the molecule is not chiral judge chiral chiral chirality by looking at the most symmetrical conformer two chair conformation of cis 1,2 dibromocyclohexane are non superimposable but the interconversion is fast and the molecule is in equilibrium any sample would be rhythmic and such as such optically inactive next we have alanines some alanines are chiral even though they do not have a chiral carbon central carbon is sp hybridized to be chiral, the groups at the end carbon must have the different groups. Next, we have Fischer projection. Flat representation of a 3D molecule is called Fischer projection. A chiral carbon is at the intersection of horizontal and vertical lines. Horizontal lines are forward out of plane and vertical lines are behind the plane. So these are vertical lines behind the plane and the horizontal line are forward out of the page. So out of the plane. So this is an example of a Fischer projection which is a 3D molecule. Flat representation of a 3D molecule. And here uh, first drawing is a perspective drawing. Next, we have Fisher's rule. Carbon chain is on the vertical line. Highest oxidized carbon is at the top. Rotation of 180 degree in the plane does not change molecule. They do not rotate 90 degree. A rotation of 180 is allowed because it will not change the configuration. A 90 degree rotation will change the orientation of horizontal and vertical groups. Fischer projections are easy to draw and make it easier to find in enantiomers and internal mirror planes when the molecule has two or more chiral centers. Next, we look at the rotation of one uh, rotation by 180 degree which is allowed why because it doesn't change the configuration of the molecule while the 90 degree rotation is not allowed because it can change the configuration next Fisher R and F lowest priority usually H comes as assign assignment rules are backwards H comes forward so assignment rules are backward clockwise is 1 2 3 which is s rotation uh, nomenclature and counterclockwise is 1 2 3 r nomenclature this is a diagram of uh, clockwise rotation Diastereomers are the molecules with two or more chiral carbon. Stereoisomers that are not mirror images of each other are called diastereomers. Here is an example of diastereomer. Next, two or more chiral carbons. When compounds have two or more chiral centers, they have enantiomers, diastereomers or mesoisomers. Enantiomers have opposite configuration at which at each corresponding chiral carbon. Diastereomers have some matching, some opposite configuration. Meso compounds have internal mirror planes. Maximum number of isomers is 2n, where n is equal to the chiral carbons.
Next we have is meso compound. Meso compounds have a plane of symmetry. If one image was rotated 180 degree, then it can it could be superimposed on other images. Meso compounds are achiral even though they have a chiral center. For example, 2,3 dibromobutane. In the end, we will look at some properties of diastereomers. Diastereomers have different physical properties, unlike enantiomers, which they have same physical properties. Diastereomers have different physical properties, so they can be easily separated. Enantiomers differ only in reaction with uh, other chiral molecule and the direction in which polarized light is rotated. Enantiomers are difficult to separate, while diastereomers are not. Convert enantiomers into diastereomers to be able to separate them. Um, this will be all for stereochemistry. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as possible. For my notes, check the link uh, check the description below you will find the link to the notes thank you